Imagine this, your exams are starting, you have cleared your desk, you had some water and now you are about to sit to study. But just after studying one chapter, boom, you end up taking a small nap and then you regret it. Don't worry at all, we are here to help you with this problem. Stay tuned till the end and understand some things that you should inculcate in your study sessions and eventually this will help you in staying focused for a longer period of time. At the same time, it will also help you to score better grades in your exam. Tip number 1. Have light. Again and again and yet again we will emphasize on this point. Why? Well because you need to know the importance of studying in a good lighting and that is because lighting is a dominant factor in the brain's ability to focus. You didn't know that right? Well, researchers have also proven that poorer the lighting, the poorer the effectiveness of the brain's power to gather information that you have been studying. The fact is that good lighting that could also be the natural light from the sun is the best when you have to fix your eyes on paper for a long period of time. Light also favors visual relaxation and maintains natural shades in colors so it will keep us active and not cause us fatigue while we read or study. Tip number 2. Writing will help you stay awake. It is quite obvious that when you keep reading what you are studying again and again, it will automatically create a monotonous rhythm in your mind due to which you are more likely to start feeling bored and being bored to an extent that you will ultimately give an open invitation to sleepiness, which is something that you should avoid. Hence, to keep this problem away, one of the best things that you can do is to start practicing to write what you are studying. By doing this, you are allowing your brain to remain active since you are of course using the pen and paper for understanding and recalling the things that you have learned. Tip number 3. Don't study the difficult topics at night. During the night, you are more prone to feel sluggish. Means, your mind is less active and you tend to feel a little lazy during the night. Hence, whatever you are trying to study, especially the difficult topics, you will feel like you are not doing enough. But the fact is that you are doing great. It's just the wrong subject at the wrong time. Try to learn or understand only the light and easy portions of the syllabus at night. Leave the tough portions for daytime when your body and brain are fresh and active. One thing you can do is for late night study, pick only those subjects which are easy, interesting and are your favorite ones. Tip number 4. Make an effort to keep your body parts alert. Not only your mind but your body plays a huge role in helping you stay awake and alert while studying. If you keep on studying with the same position for long hours, then you are more likely to get lazy and drowsy. Hence, to avoid this problem, the moment you start feeling sleepy, don't wait. Quickly get up from your chair and move around in your room and stretch your legs or arms. You can also do this by walking in your room or hall and simultaneously reading something because it has been proven that this technique not only helps in avoiding sleep but also enhances concentration. Tip number 5. Try to always eat light. I know we have all felt sleepy or even drowsy after a meal and if you have to study in such a mood then no one can help you and you know it. Why does this happen? This happens because after having a heavy meal you feel full and relaxed and hence you are struggling to keep your eyes open. This lack of energy comes after consuming a heavy diet which reduces your retention power. Also, when you feel lazy, you are more likely to go to bed. Hence, to avoid this, have light meals and also make sure you have some proteins, fibers, etc. in your diet. These tips will definitely help you to stay awake and alert and also focused while studying. Also, watch our top videos to get more knowledge on how to stay focused. Thank you and all the best.